We're here with head coach Katie Reese after the NCAA Division II East Regional Championship. Um, Katie, we'll talk about your women's team first. Uh, they finished in sixth place, a uh, four spot improvement from a year ago. Um, you guys were led by Jackie and Betsy once again, with Jackie earning all region honors with a 24th place finish. Um, talk about their performance yesterday and where you expected them to place. Uh, well, going into the race yesterday, we were uh, hoping to finish obviously higher than last year. Last year we finished 10th. Um, we, um, you know, we uh, we placed seventh at conferences. So our goal going in, we talked about it the night before uh, and a few weeks before, was trying to finish uh, higher than that. Um, so we were hoping for a sixth or better. Uh, in the back of our minds, you know, we were always shooting for one of those top two spots because you know that's what you work for during the season. We want to go to nationals. So if you know if we shoot for number two but we place higher than we did, um, you know, we'd be pretty happy. So uh, going into uh, or when the race was finished, we I actually didn't even know where we had placed as a team. Uh, and once we saw the results, we saw that we finished sixth, which was you know the improvement uh, from seventh at conferences, and we were actually only six points out of fourth place. So I was really impressed with the girls and how they did. And you know we had uh, some couple of great performances. Jackie and Betsy up top. Jackie earning all region. Um, when she ran great, she took it out right from the start of the race um, and just kind of picked people off as she went. Um, Betsy also had a really strong and solid race. Uh, she ran a PR also, uh, so she ran um, exactly you know what we'd hoped for from her, and uh, a couple other people had great performances as well. Katie Hundemark moved up great. Uh, this is her first time performing at the uh, the regional meet. She'd never been in our top seven before, and she's a junior, so she worked really hard this summer and all year, and she earned her spot there. She really went out and performed. It was great. Um, Cassie Papandrew improved a lot from last year as well. Uh, and our two freshmen, Larissa and Jen, uh, they both uh, performed well. And I have no doubts that they will be able to take one of those top three spots next year. Okay. Um, obviously you said you improved from last year. Uh, what were some of the things you did differently this year um, compared to last season that helped your team really finish strong at the regional meet? Um, different overall. Um, the mileage was a little bit higher, um, but overall I think uh, we just had an overall better summer of training, a lot more preparedness. Um, they knew after having coached them for a year already, they kind of knew what I expected of them um, going forward. So at the end of the year last year, they knew what to do in the summer uh, and how to prepare. And all season long, they just worked really hard. The, the women were very consistent about doing all the little things that they needed to do, which in the past years they hadn't done. So last year, uh, they got, did the mileage, but they weren't quite willing to do, you know, the core work or the strength training, and, and they did everything this year. Everything I asked of them, they did, and more. So that was the biggest improvement. All right, the men um, finished in fourth place, two spots better than last year. Uh, the highlight of the day was obviously Andrew, finishing second overall, um, earned his trip to the national meet. It's the second in in two years. Uh, you have to be happy with performance. Um, what are your thoughts about how he ran yesterday? He ran a very smart race. Uh, he's actually probably one of the easiest kids to coach because he he just has a natural ability uh, and just kind of knows what to do. He knows his how strong he is and he just goes for it. And you know his goal was to take a shot at that that top spot. Um, and obviously, Glarius Rupp is just a really strong runner. He's having a great year this year. Um, he wound up beating the rest of the field by over a minute. Um, but Coelho knew that just going into it that um, you know he had to go for, for it from the start. So he stayed conservative and ran with the pack for the first mile, mile and a half. And then after that, he just pulled away. And there was pretty much no one who touched him the rest of the race. He finished ahead, uh, 30 seconds ahead of everybody else. So he ran, uh, you know, he ran his PR at that course, uh, 3102, uh, which is a few seconds faster than he did last year, except you know, he ran it solo. He just ran it by himself and pushed himself. So. Okay. Angel and James came up big, 7th and 11th place finishes respectively. Um, you know, what was going through your mind when you saw that you had three runners across the line before any other team? Um, and what are your thoughts on how you, you thought the guys stacked up against the field, which included three nationally ranked teams? The guys, the guys ran great um, overall, especially Angel and James. They, you know, they went into this race um, knowing how important it was, and they really wanted to do well. Angel, of course, because it's his senior year, it's his last year of cross country. Um, and James, being a freshman, he this is his first uh, first time at the championship meet of this level, and uh, they both performed unbelievably. Um, 
they they did exactly what they needed to do, and I always tell them that the you know the real race starts halfway through. So once they cross that 5K, that's when it really begins. And you know they did what they needed to. They stayed conservative and relaxed. The first mile, uh, they both started off probably in 20 to 25th place. And uh, they just worked their way up through the whole race. So um, they ran very smart. Um, they pushed themselves when they needed to. And, you know, I was letting them know what places they were in um, as they went. They both had all region as their goal. So they were aiming for one of those top 15 spots. And um, they just did everything they needed to to go after it. They outkicked people they needed to. And, uh, you know, I was especially proud of Angel being that he finished seventh overall. And he was only nine seconds away from um, taking one of those individual spots going to nationals as well, which, you know, would have been a great way to cap off his senior year. But he peed yard by a minute, so I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, both of your teams uh, finished better than the preseason regional and Northeast 10 polls predicted. Um, how would you say the season went as a whole, and did you accomplish the goals uh, that you set earlier this season? Um, we definitely did. And, you know, going going into preseason on day one, um, you know, we talked about it and we set our goals as, you know, trying to get the team to nationals. We knew Drew made it last year as an individual, um, and we knew we had a strong enough group, um, you know, that we could take a shot at it. And, you know, each of the races uh, throughout the year, they knew were stepping stones uh, for conferences and for regionals. These are the real two meets that we aimed for um, all year long. And, uh, you know, I definitely think that we are, we're moving up each year, which is, which is our goal. Um, I knew that, uh, you know, it takes a couple years to build a program, and the guys we have are a great group. Uh, we only lose Angel next year. So I'm really excited for the future of this team, and um, I definitely think we, you know, we showed what we can do this year, and it was it was very close. We had, uh, you know, if, if a few other little things had gone differently, um, you know, we could be sending uh, a men's team to nationals. We could be sending, you know, a women's team to nationals. You never know. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.